Notion has been pretty busy recently. They have introduced a few updates across the last few weeks, scattering them out, and we're going to go over them all in today's feature, including the brand new side peak view, which is something that a lot of people have been waiting for on this channel. If you're new here, welcome. Join us here on Keep Productive and by hitting subscribe down below and like this video if you did enjoy it because it does help other people find more videos like this. And if you fancy, we've got a brand new TikTok channels which you can join, which is sharing all about productivity news and features. Now, Notion have been releasing more stability updates over the last couple of months, and um, it's really good to see. It's great to see them build a stronger experience for the customers that are using this every single day. And one of the first things that they released a couple of weeks ago, I think about two weeks ago now, is actually faster mobile applications. Now, I wanted to dive into this first because Notion has always struggled with their mobile applications. In the past, Notion has not had the fastest experience, and that's primarily because they had a very web-based view experience. But with this new update to iOS and Android, they're focusing on what they're calling native components. And essentially, this is just more built for your phone and not just ported over from their web version. And they've actually started with the first component they're introducing, new home tab. Essentially, this new update loads on iOS two times faster and on Android three times faster. So opening the device and actually seeing Notion and getting it ready will actually increase dramatically. And that apparently is just a start of their journey into making this new iOS and Android app more native in its components and elements. So that's great news, including in this update is a new home tab button in the bottom left hand corner, which means you can quickly pop open the tray just faster and more easily. Um, making it a just a much more manageable experience overall. So that's probably going to only improve over time. Now, probably what you came here for this video, the side peak. Now, you've all been using center peak, which they're calling center peak now. It just used to be opening a page in sort of a database. Well, essentially, they're introducing three views to two of you, you two of which you've had before, but side peak is the new one. So essentially, when you click into a database item, now what we'll do is it will pop up on the right hand side, allowing you to scroll through pages and also see stuff without the interruption of the full screen view. But you can still see this center peak view where it takes over your screen, but still shows a sort of uh, things around the edges and a full screen view, which essentially zooms you straight into the item. Now, this new addition actually isn't something that's new really to a lot of people because it was actually teased on Twitter um, probably about four months or five months ago now by Jane Wong, I'm going to say her name is. She like basically finds features in Notion and other apps and basically leaks them. <laughs> well, Notion had been actually working on this for a while and it's really taken from the inspiration from other apps like um, Obsidian and places like that that sort of have this lovely view in my opinion and it's much more tailored towards those who are, are taking notes um, and want to be able to sort of have stuff i don't know how this will affect the sort of um the views in terms of split views which is something a lot of people want to see in notion of being able to open two pages at once but again it's something that um is a is a much loved update i think for a lot of people now, one thing that some people may have seen, but is this new column ability. One of the painful things in Notion is actually being able to quickly create these column views, where essentially there's a new block that automatically does it for you. Instead, you can go ahead and create the headers you want and basically go into turn into, scroll down to columns, and it'll basically make it for you. This creating the multi-column layout is actually just something that's gonna save you huge amount of time and stress and really just fix the way that you structure stuff, whether that's for creating a task list or, or managing a work week. But you can modify that so that you can choose the columns. So for example, if you did slash command, you can type in col2 or col3 and it will scrobble into those amount of columns, um, which is quite helpful. 
and um, you, you know it works inside of toggles as well and they're sort of pushing this uh, edition. Now there's also better inline link previews. So essentially what they've done is with their link previews is they have made it a lot more sort of um, previewable. <laughs> you just hover over it and you can see more details inside of it. It's much like a card now um, and it shows you the sort of key information so that I guess it saves you time navigating to the page and realizing, right, okay, I shouldn't be going here. And it just gives you a bit of time. Um, and that's particularly when you add, for example, links like Jira, GitHub, Figma. Um, these ones that are very visually based. Um, and obviously um, you can do that even with Notion stuff too. And um, they're also sort of helping to produce this rich preview for even like things like Zoom meetings, uh, Asana tasks, animated GIFs and Dropbox. Um, so it's it's really nice having that ability. And you can even um, go to that three dots in the right hand corner of the preview and turn the inline mention into a full block uh, or actually copy the original URL to your clipboard, which means that you save a bit of time actually modifying stuff, which is pretty cool. Now they've done a few small updates, including like the, the covers, the art, art emojis, you'll notice are slightly different in the way that you navigate to them. So that's great news in terms of just small little sort of fixtures, which is very, very helpful. Now, if you're interested in checking out uh, a Notion template, um, a cracking one to get and check out is Ultimate um, Brain with um, the likes of Thomas Frank. He's created it from scratch and it's like sort of his mindset on productivity. You can check it out in the link in the description. It is an affiliate link if you did want to go ahead and purchase it. Uh, but we think it's a cracking template that Thomas has created. Anyway, folks. I really hope you enjoyed this feature and uh, I really love to hear what you think about Notion's brand new updates. Again, if you are new, please do subscribe to the Keep Productive YouTube channel or join us over on TikTok for that new adventure that is TikTok. Okay, folks, I'll see you soon. It's been Francesco here at Keep Productive and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.